The price of everything in our lives is going up, but I don't think that you can put a price on time in your life because you're not getting any more of that. Still, it doesn't hurt to save a little bit of money in your life, so I've brought you the top five cheap smart home products that you can bring into your life and save some time. Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today my evaluation for these products is based on four different things. The first one being features or functions. They need to provide what they say they do in advertisements and product descriptions and they need to provide us a lot. The second criteria is reliability. These can't be adding problems to your life all the time. Of course, every once in a while you could have issues but these are highly reliable and setup is easy. The third is that time savings, and yes, it ties into those features and reliability, but this is specific to those automations we can create in our lives in order to save time, and usually that means saving money, which is the fourth criteria, the overall pricing and the bang for your buck. For today's video, I want you to understand that these products do not require another investment. And oftentimes you'll find smart home products require a hub or another device that works really well with them. So I made sure all five of these devices require no hub whatsoever to provide you that great value. Coming in at number five is a product that works really well and doesn't care if you're using any other smart home products in your home. It is a little difficult to get it outside of the US. You'd have to use a parcel forwarding service, but I've done that. And I'll also tell you how to get it working outside of the US. Now, what it does is if you have a product in your house that you're always running low on or you're running out of and you don't wanna get caught without it, well, you put it on this device and then this is actually a way scale. Now, this is called Amazon's Dash Smart Scale. And yes, it will cause either an immediate reordering of the product or if you're not in the US, you'd be stuck with just the notification option, but you can pick either of those two if you're in the US. It's an incredibly easy device to use. It comes with some batteries that will last you a few years. And if you're not that type, you wanna go fully powered, well, here is the USB option. And it's a simple turn on, connect to your Wi-Fi, and you set it up in the Amazon shopping application. From there, you'll tell Amazon what the product is that you've left sitting on this device and what level or what weight you want to trigger either that reorder or that notification. Plus, it does connect with Amazon's voice assistant just in basic ways today, but I think we'll see that improve over time. Now, the really wild thing about this product beyond what I've already told you is that this is the same price as these, it doesn't matter what size you want as of today, these are all the same price and they're really just the different ones you want to set throughout maybe your pantry or different spots in your house. The one caveat to this is that US component. It's only a product available there. As I said, I used a parcel forwarding service and I actually converted my Amazon account to a US account, which you can do, or you could set up a second Amazon account and get those notifications through. One of the biggest features of smart home products is that they work with other smart home products. And this is a hallmark of TP-Link or what's called CASA now and a number of their products. Now, this little mini switch or mini smart plug Honestly, it's so inexpensive. You can get incredible deals on these. It works with Amazon Echoes and Echo Shows. Plus it works with Google Nest and Samsung SmartThings, which is a big deal for me. I use it to control my studio lighting and to make sure that I can automate that and not have those big lights on all the time. One of the most exciting things for many of you to hear today will be that this little smart plug or a version of this little smart plug will work with Apple HomeKit. And one of the things I really like about TP-Link is the fact that they have outdoor uh, multiple plug outlets and they have smart switches as well that are really clear for where they're going to work in your home and where they're not going to work. And again, all of that connectivity is available and they tend to be 
rock solid in most people's homes. Now, hopefully you caught, as I said that, I said this will be great in most people's homes. And the problem with a lot of the devices we're talking about today is that they connect only by Wi-Fi. And that means that if your Wi-Fi is not good, these kinds of products are going to cause you problems. And it's not that these products that I'm telling you about today are going to be bad ones. It's that a lot of people's Wi-Fi can't handle them. I'll give you two resources. First, I'll tell you the two things that will cause you the most problems right now and I will also give you a resource to five tips for getting amazing Wi-Fi in your home there's a link to that video down below now the first thing about Wi-Fi is coverage and everyone kind of understands that at this point but the other thing about Wi-Fi is that your Wi-Fi is constantly talking to every device it's connected to and if it can't reach that device or if it kind of times out because there's too many devices for it to get to well, then it'll drop a connection and then you'll go, this little stupid mini smart plug never works. That guy on YouTube was totally wrong. Well, this is where we need a better processor, a better overall router or a better overall Wi-Fi mesh system to handle a lot of devices. Wise is a company that produces all kinds of inexpensive smart home products. Here are some of the latest ones and they even have a brand new one that's a light socket that can power their V3 camera and do a ton of other automation things. But that's not what I have in mind when I think about Wise these days. At number three are Wise's Smart Bulbs, and they have a color version right here and a normal white version right here. Both of these are really inexpensive products. They produce some of the best colors and shades of white. This is a temperature controllable bulb, so it moves between kind of that really blue or very white white to uh, a much more yellow color. And this one produces all the colors you could ever want, Plus, what's happened with Wise's platform is they've gotten better and better features into the application and they've become really reliable products, which was not the case when I first got these. But Wise has continued to focus on this and have created great, reliable, smart lighting now. Plus, the connectivity within their application allows you to control these all in groups or you can control them off some of their other products like the different cameras and the other products that you see from Wise today. So you can create all this great automation. Plus with connectivity to both Amazon and Google smart speakers, you get a lot more options there for voice control and with Amazon more automation features. So this has really rounded into one of the best smart lighting products available today. And as we go forward into the future, the matter standard is coming in 2022 and not a lot of people know this, but Wise has jumped on board with that. So this should give us even more connectivity options in the future, maybe Samsung SmartThings and maybe even Apple HomeKit for something this inexpensive. Every time I go to say this company's name, I find myself thinking that I'm prepping to swear, but I'm never swearing about the price because honestly, I find this company's products very reasonably priced. Now, these guys are called Sonoff and a lot of their products will require a hub, although there are a number that I'm going to point out today that are extremely well priced and do a lot for not a lot. And that whole list of products, they work with Amazon and Google voice assistants, and they do this through what's called the eWe Link application. That often means they work with Samsung SmartThings as well, and this includes uh, the Sonoff Mini, which is a great light switch that goes behind your physical light switch, so you don't actually have to change that out. It's just a little box that you're putting in behind there, doing a little bit of wiring, and that's kind of a hallmark of Sonoff products they are a little bit DIY and the best example of that is their R3 which is a DIY connector for many appliances and lights. 
That switch can be almost connected to anything and it's going to take you a little bit of wiring effort, but this becomes a really versatile product that connects to your home's Wi-Fi through that eWe Link application and then you get all of that control for your appliance. My favorite is such a simple little device. It's so inexpensive and it helps me with things like chargers or other devices that are on USB. So this is called the Sonoff Wi-Fi Mini USB and it is a very simple device, has a little button on it here that allows you manual control and then you can see it's just USB to USB but it actually allows 2.5 amps through it which is big for these kinds of little devices and it's entirely controllable in all those different ways that you would expect. So it's really great for things like chargers or for other USB USB powered devices. Those ones that maybe take a lot of power, you don't want powered all the time. There's a lot of new lamps or a lot of new smart lamps that are like that as well. So this becomes a really great product in a lot of ways and I found a ton of uses for it. Plus it's so cheap. Before we go on to number one, I wanna tell you a couple of things. The first one is just that the links to the products are obviously down below, but there's also links to resources. So if I'm talking about a product, you wanna see more about it, there are links to those videos down below. Some are from me, some are from other creators that I know and respect. The other thing I wanna ask is actually about these kinds of videos, the top five, the top 10 videos. I got great suggestions on our top five smart speakers videos, but I'd love to hear from you guys. What are your suggestions for other top fives or maybe you'd like the worst five of something. So I wanted to throw that suggestion there, see what you guys thought and hear back. Imagine that you're getting a smart home product for under a dollar and then imagine that that same product can access every application on your smartphone. Then add in what is either a free application to manage this with or a relatively cheap application and you have something called NFC tags. The caveat to that is that NFC tags in whatever format they are, you have to make sure that your smartphone can work with that and you'll have to do a little bit of setup work. Might be some trial and error behind this, but this is one of the least expensive ways to create amazing automations in your life and in your home. Now, I'm just gonna show you an example of this. This is a NFC tag. It will work with Apple HomeKit and actually it'll work with Android. Now with Apple HomeKit, there's a number of great tutorials that I have down below. On Android, I use an application called Tasker and it costs a little bit to get some of the more premium features, but we're talking a couple of bucks here. And then you can use all of these different NFC tags. This one looks just like a card. You can write on it, put stickers on it to let you know what it does. And then all you're going to do is bring your phone up to it and it reads it. So I'm just gonna show you as I read this tag, you can see that it pops up a couple of things and this is what you start with as the automation. Your phone kind of recognizes it and my phone has that Tasker application on it. So I'm just gonna bring it into Tasker as a new tag and I'm going to start building an automation from there. And what's really great about applications like Tasker is that I can even train it to deal with finger presses or where I press on the screen. I can add in things like delays. This becomes an incredible tool for any of the applications on your phone today. These often come in packs of 10 to 15, like this was, I think I got 20 here for $10. And I actually showed this set with, uh, or from a company called SwitchBot. They only work with the SwitchBot products, but even these are well under $20. They automate all of the different SwitchBot products. And honestly, they've been fantastic in my home with almost no setup requirement, none of the complexity that I talked about earlier. 
One of the great things about this industry is that there's always new products coming out and I talked about a few new products today, but you're going to love the set of videos that are up on screen right there that will introduce you to all these new gadgets, new products that you can bring into your life and will save you that time and money. So go check those out. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, guys. And of course, don't hate, automate.